In this video, I want to introduce you to some demolition tools. So these would be the tools that you want to use when you're tearing something down. You want to get rid of cabinets, uh, maybe open up some walls, just as part of a renovation restoration project. Um, there's a few different things. There's basically bashing tools and prying tools. Those are the two categories. Uh, for bashing, just regular handheld bashing of small things, a two pound mason's hammer like this works really well. Uh, if you're a bit stronger, you might find a four pound works better. That's what this is. Um, and it's just for you know, small scale bashing. If you have a lot of serious bashing to do, you're going to want to get a sledgehammer. Now this doesn't enter into a, the equation too much. This is a six pound. It's about as light as you'd want to get. Um, you get eight, 10, 12 pounds as well. You probably won't use a sledgehammer like this very often when you want to do what I call careful demolition. So removing some things, preserving surfaces and stuff uh, elsewhere so that it works well. But those are the bashing tools and that really covers the equation. You could use a claw hammer too, but they're a bit light. Um, you know, claw hammer for driving nails, typically about a, you know, a pound or a little bit more. Uh, you're gonna get more results for a given swing of your arm with something that's got more inertia and momentum in it. Now, when it does come time to do some prying, there are some different tools you want to use. Now, this is kind of a medium pry bar. This is for, for close quarters work. Um, this is the kind of crowbar that I recommend for bigger stuff. It's a lot better than a traditional crowbar, sort of that octagonal shaft with a hook on the end and a fairly narrow blade, sort of like a walking stick kind of crowbar. Uh, this kind is better because it's got wider surfaces. That's the main thing, wider prying surfaces. So that's why something like this would work better than a more traditional style. Now, there is one other kind of prying tool that you may not have heard of before. And this is just super for precise work. It's called a cat's paw pry bar. It's just a little one here. The beauty of it is that you've got a nice thin blade on one side. I've actually ground this a little bit blunter than when it came from the factory because I wanted to use it for some scraping. But you can, you can reduce this. You can make this extremely thin. And the idea is that if you have, say, a cabinet that you want to pry off of a wall or pry up off of the floor, chances are that cabinet's pretty tight fitting to the wall or floor. And if you try to bash your way into that space with something thick and coarse like this, you're going to cause unnecessary damage. But with a very thin pry bar like this and a few, a few hammer taps, you can get behind trim, you can get behind cabinets, and you can start to open up the gap. Now you're not going to do any serious demolition work with a little wee tool like this, but you're going to start the process. You're going to get that crack wide enough that you can get a tool like this in and start getting some real leverage working for you. Now, there's one little trick I want to show you. Let's say you want to pry something. You know, let's say this is a cabinet or something like that, and it's, it's against a surface that you want to protect. I mean, you could just go in there and start prying like this, but you'd be prying against the surface that you want to preserve. So a better option is to use a, this is a drywall knife, four inch. Anything really that's got some, some sheet metal to it, you can put it underneath, and now you can pry against it. And so you're protecting your surface. You can slip one of these things in at an angle or straight on, but it's a little, t little trick, but it helps quite a bit when you have to do some, some careful, finesseful tearing down with minimal collateral damage. Now, before I told you there was essentially two kinds of demolition tools, there's the bashing and smashing tools and then the prying tools. There's actually another category that you should know about, and it's the sawing tools. And you really cannot beat a tool like this for cutting things that you want to remove. This is a reciprocating saw. This is a full-size cordless 18-volt reciprocating saw. And its job is to sneak into places and to cut. So you can sneak in and you can cut fasteners. So you can remove something without any bashing, smashing, or levering at all. If you've cut the fasteners, the nails or the screws. Uh, you can cut wood. You can cut pipes. Um, this sort of saw is meant to go through everything. Now, these saws have been around for a while. This is nothing new. But what is new <clears throat> is the quality of blades. 
that are available for them. It used to be that the blades didn't last very long at all, but now there's two kinds of uh, advanced blade technology that you need to know about. Um, this is a little single-handed 12-volt reciprocating saw, but look at this. Bimetal, okay? That means that this metal is a lot stronger than normal, and it can cut through. Well, look at this. Nail embedded wood. Nails don't bother this, at least not too much. It's primarily a wood blade because you can see how coarse it is, but it does tolerate nails, and it will tolerate a lot of nails too. So, bimetal, one thing to look for. This other kind of blade is kind of interesting. I've used it quite a bit, as you can see, and it's still pretty much as sharp as when it was new. It actually has carbide teeth. There's carbide teeth on that. You can cut metal all day long with this thing. And as long as you don't go too fast, so you don't develop a whole lot of heat here on the, the teeth, it will stay quite sharp and it'll go through non-ferrous metal, copper, uh, electrical conduit. It'll also go through steel pipe, uh, um, all kinds of spikes, nails, and just keep on going. This blade I actually used in a test and I made hundreds of cuts through thick 12 inch spikes with this particular blade and it works really well. So there you have it, the complete demolition package ready for tearing down and uh, the preliminary work of making your space better.